What's up, gamers? Welcome to another E3 Predictions Podcast. I'm your host, Tanner, and you're joined with our co-host... Adrian. Yeah, we're gamers. We're down here in the Mountain Dew Laboratories, <laughs> sipping our Doritos and crunching some nice Mountain Dew cans. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Crunch, crunch. We're, you know why we're crunching cans? Because we're going to be talking about the goats. Sports. Sport. <laughs> I can't keep this up. I can't keep it up. I can't. Although, well, to be fair, the first thing up is EA. But hi! We're going to be talking about uh, what we predict will be at E3. The most wonderful time of the year. Yes. Aside from the birth of your own child, but that's for later. Um, So, what are we excited for? What are we expecting? So, how are we going about this? How are we going about this? Well, we have the times... Uh, and we're going in order of the. Con- are we all going in order of the conferences? Yes, I, I made sure to put it on the document. Okay, because in in the in the thing at the top, EA is not on there, so EA is first. EA is, so. EA is separate. It's like an EA Play separate thing, but Gross. it takes place at the same time. Sorry, did I say that out loud? Yeah. You okay. Did. <laughs> um, so we're going to be talking about them in order. Uh, we have some stuff down that we want. Uh, we will be talking about some stuff that we don't want, maybe. We'll be talking about uh, predictions of what we what is likely and what we want, mm-hmm. and uh, let's just get going. Okay. Okay. So first off, we have on um, Sunday. On Sunday, we do have Electronic Arts uh, with a few things. Few things. Few things. Uh, so first off, we have Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars: Fallen Order. Fallen Order. Some people are excited for this. Are you excited for this? Um, gonna be real. I've fallen off the Star Wars train hard. I think we've talked about that yes. before. I really enjoyed Episode Eight. The world didn't. I guess I'm the wrong one. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> so, um, yeah, probably well, not. What what gameplay would you want? Well, it's going to be like third person. If I if if you wanted me to get me in, I mean, aside from a Star Warriors Muso, which would be the coolest thing ever. <laughs> um. A kind of a more platinum-y, like, I want to, if you're going to ask me, I want an action game with a good defensive component. Whether it's a parry, whether it's, you know the thing where they do with lightsabers, the bzz, bzz, and like blocking the bullets? So basically you want Metal Gear Rising, but Star Wars. Absolutely. It's not going to be that. No. But that's what would get me excited. Um, I hope it's not like... Have you played Battlefront, the Battlefront games, like the new ones? No, I played the originals and never touched the remakes okay. or redos, well, it, reboots. Besides the second one feeling like there's a microtransaction devil on your shoulder the whole time. Oh, um, his name's Guado. Guado. <laughs> um, hey, Annie, purchase some microtransactions. <laughs> the the characters feel uh, heavy. Oh, so yeah. I kind of want... Lighter? A lighter. To be fair, when they force jump, they like, woof, they, they, they fly. It kind of so. feels heavy, though, still. Yeah, well, they should. They shouldn't feel like... I know, but like, like, I, want, I want more arcade Star Wars. No, games. what I'm saying is they should feel light. Oh, they have the force okay. to have them yeah. flip around. Yes. Yeah. Everyone has the force. Well, not it. Well, 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 well yeah, but I'm talking about the... <laughs> I'm talking about the Jedi. Now, that said, I did hear people saying something like, can you imagine if it's a game where you, like, spend 90% of it with other weapons, and only in that last bit do you unlock the lightsaber, which like changes that. everything. I, I think that'd be kind of interesting. Uh, but because that, Battlefront, we've no, no. But as in, you need to achieve the lightsaber, and then you need to, like, once you have it, it changes the world. You can now, like, now enemies, you cut them, and they're cut through. Right? Mm-hmm. I want to see that too. I think we've had too many games that have cowered it out on the lightsabers actually cutting people. Oh, okay. Like, we, like that's been in older Star Wars games. <laughs> you have a lightsaber and you slash someone's arm, their arm is cut off and instantly cauterized. There's no blood, mm-hmm. but it's off, right? I want to see that in next gen. I want to see the actual lightsabers doing the cutting that they're supposed to. Okay. I can see that. But, I mean... At the same time, I'm not getting the game, so who cares? <laughs> They're advertising this game as, like, it's not going to be microtransaction heavy. Well, which makes you go, well... <laughs> really? It's a pretty uh, scummy Why selling point. Why would you point. do it in the first place? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, moving on from that, uh, got Apex Legends down here. Probably going to get a whole bunch of this stuff. Probably a, a new Battle Pass thing, a new thing of like, whoa, check out this new character who is ripped right from, uh, what's it called? You just like flicked your last again. me. I know. Well, what's that game called? <laughs> Titanfall. Titanfall. They'll put in a character that plays like Titanfall. You know, with wall running and, and the stuff, and maybe you, can summons a mech. I don't know. Do you think Titanfall is going to show up? Absolutely not. You no. did hear what happened with yeah. the studio where they're like, Apex is so good, we ain't touching Titanfall until this dies. So it's like, whoopsies. Maybe it's because of my my Twitter feed, but I this game fell off. No one's talking about it. I know people. Well, then again, I know kids who play it still. Uh, one of my friends is like obsessed with it. Yep. So I, again, it's it's a free to play. It's not as big as multiplayer it game. It's, it'll, it'll get people going. Um, more Sims Four content. Yeah, all those all those sixty dollar expansions. What's, what expansion do you want? The Sims go to anime. <laughs> yep, they're just they're, go to anime. They go, they go to an anime convention <laughs> and they walk up to their favorite you know dojin seller and they're like, Jesus, Umin Chanchafru, Jaharbi Blarg. <laughs> Dojinshi. Um, what was the most recent one they did? They, like weather? Are you actually asking me? Yeah. I don't keep track of these. You things. played it for. I our played podcast. it, but I don't keep track. Ships of... worldwide. Did you see? Thank you. Did you see how many expansions there were on that main menu? I didn't buy. There was like <laughs> yeah. forty-five already. <laughs> okay, fair enough. That's like, calm down, bud. But this game does sell. I mean, it does, but I hate those expansions. That's it. Expansions are really enticing. They're hard okay. to resist. So, but here's the thing: the like Hearthstone expansions. I'm like, oh, I want to play this. If this they looks cool, were ten dollars, yes. <laughs> but it's the fact they're like forty to sixty dollars. Well, you get a lot probably. Uh, yeah, get, but like it's pretty much a whole new game. Is it? I don't know about that. I don't know. Okay, Dragon Age Four. You know a little bit about this? I do. I do know some stuff about it that I'm not actually privy to say, but I will say uh, it does pick up, it would pick off right up after the ending of Dragon Age Inquisition, featuring a eclectic party member doing an eclectic thing. <laughs> um, okay. I do hope some of the not used ideas from Dragon Age Inquisition make it into here. Because there was some actually really cool stuff that never got used. Hmm. Specifically when they're planning the DLC. They're like, okay, we have like seven ideas and we're going to use two of them. And the coolest one they skipped over. Damn. I hope that that's used here. You think that'll show up here? Uh, I actually don't. No? No. They're still working on it? I do think they're still going to be working on it pretty secretly. Okay. Sports. Sports! FIFA 20. We're going to get get a British guy on the stage. (laughs) It's going to be like, you'll get to play the world's greatest game like no one has ever played before. Do you think that, like... CEO evil guy's going to show up? Absolutely. Well, he's been starting to wear t-shirts to be more relatable. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. He still looks evil. He looks like an evil guy in a t-shirt now. Like, he looks like evil microtransactions. He absolutely overlaid. does. But they're gonna they're literally going to be up on the stage and being like, now you two can create the greatest football team <laughs> using card packs. Pre-order now at game. Stop. Power I, I think to the players. Gonna, I think they're going to, like, really... Real back with the microchip. Well, they have, to, they have to legally with yeah. Belgium <laughs> banning it yep. and the rest of the world going to soon follow suit. Now, that said, that's banning loot boxes mm-hmm. and gotcha, which is oh, that's a that's, <laughs> that's a big a one. <laughs> the Nintendo games being lost. That's a big one because that means gotcha's next. Um, but I think I think they're going to rename the systems, but keep them in place. Mm. When you have a goose that lays gold bricks... <laughs> you're not going to kill the goose. You're not going to kill the goose. You are going to paint the goose green <laughs> and say it's a duck. <laughs> that's a good metaphor. I made it up right now thinking of that's, Scoot. That's a... <laughs> thinking of Scoot. But it worked really well. It does. Um, and then you put down here Destiny Relaunch. I think, that all not about? Destiny. Sorry. I, I ironically chose the wrong game. What is their <laughs> stupid... Not Titanfall. Anthem. Anthem. (laughs) That's the name. Anthem. (laughs) Sorry. I also wrote this at like midnight last night. Um, You weren't weren't working on this one, right? Absolutely not. You just heard about it. I just saw it when it was first made, when it was first called Dylan. And uh, I think, because right now they literally said it's now early access. Hmm. 
Like they said, yep, yeah, yeah, thank you for everyone for purchasing our beta program. And people were like, wait, what? No, I bought the game. <laughs> um, they're going to do a relaunch. They're going to fix the numbers. Man, I've been listening to a podcast that has been going over weekly all the problems. Uh, the starting equipment was stronger than anything in the late game. There were weapons with the ability to fire no bullets because the numbers were randomized, meaning you could go down to zero. So when your fire rate is zero, you literally do not fire bullets. It's a it's a mess. What a slot like what it's a, a mess. And what it comes down to almost certainly is them changing halfway through development to turning it into a loot thing. Because when I was there. There was no talk of loot mm. at all. So so do you think we're going to get a lot of mobile stuff? You remember last year? Oh, they focused God. like 15 minutes on that. Uh, what was the uh, Command & Conquer? Or I don't think we will. No? I don't think so. Not from EA. From others, maybe. Do you think this is going to be a good conference? No. Do you, what, what, I forgot, <laughs> to put, <laughs> forgot to put in the, uh, the EA Indies. Um, I mean, but even the thing is with the EA Indies... They put Yarny out to die. (laughs) What do you mean? Unraveled? After that E3 conference, there was nothing for it. No advertising. Because it launched that day too. And it launched and no one talked about it. And and Unraveled too. It's like, it it happened? Did you know that that's out on the Switch? Yeah. They just stealth dropped it? No advertising. Nothing. They're like, what's, what's the point of having an indie program if you're not doing like, Hey, you know what? Shout outs to Nintendo. When they advertise indies, those indies go huge, Mm -hmm. right? Um, PlayStation, a hundred for robot golf got main stage at E3. That's a tiny indie game, right? Mm -hmm. Made by a tiny studio of awesome people you should follow, but it's tiny, right? And they gave it the time and they gave it the advertising. I wouldn't have known about it without it. EA doesn't do that it feels like okay hopefully they improve there will be a lot of stuff about like login with origin to get stuff oh, yeah. one, I'm guessing so out of 10 how hopped are you for this one three three you think what would like what unexpected reveal? skate 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 four or skate a reboot that that I mean people have been asking I'd be down for that there have been rumors like that spout well, out and then well yeah but off. that's because everyone wants a new skate game because yeah, the only like it's yeah Tony Hawk's dead. We need something. <laughs> Not in real life. No. <laughs> but according to him, he might be. Reading those tweets is so sad. Oh, jeez. Tony Hawk being like, who's Tony Hawk? And he's just like, I don't even know, man. For uh, me, I'd say 4 out of 10. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, now. Next up, Microsoft. The oh, Since PlayStation is out, I think Nintendo is like the main event for me. Yeah. And then Microsoft is second. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Whereas it used to be the third when PlayStation was in. Well, because here's the thing. Microsoft has had some good third-party reveals mm-hmm. every for the last couple of years, right? They so, had Jump Force. They had Dragon Ball Fighter Z, They had you know, um, Devil May Cry 5. Yeah, that's like, a big one. Those are big ones. Oh. And with Sony gone, they'll fall down to Microsoft, even if they will not sell in that region. <laughs> so we got uh, Halo Infinite. I'm actually so stoked for Halo Infinite. I'm actually so stoked. Have you been keeping up with the news? Absolutely not, which no? means it'll be all the more fun okay. when, uh, when, I, when I get to do that. I don't know much. I haven't been following it. No, I don't, I don't even know if there has been any news. I've only seen the reveal trailer and that's it. Is it do you know if it's going to be like an actual campaign or is it going to be... Because Infinite throws me off in terms of like if it's going to actually be like a Halo 6 or is it going to be like Halo Battle Royale? Or... I don't know, but I'm excited. I want new, more Halo. I want a new Halo. No, I just I want Halo. I like Halo. I like Halo. You'll, you'll, you're gonna buy this one, probably. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Actually, speaking of games, I'm gonna buy Gears Five. You're gonna buy Gears Five? Why? So, I didn't talk about this on the podcast. What? <laughs> Over in the week, I had my friend come up, and he's like, "Hey, I'm done university. I uh, want to meet up for supper." I'm like, "Sure." So we meet up, and we're talking. And I haven't talked to him since we went to junior high together. Best friends in okay. junior high, right? Yeah. Um, so we're talking, and he's like, yep, so I got a job at Microsoft. And I'm like, blah, 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 what? And then he's like, yep, I, do, I did the AI on Gears of War 5. Huh. And I'm like, oh! Wow. And he's like, it's good. He's like, I know oh, okay. you, and it's good. Uh, <laughs> and more than anything, I want to support my friend, so I'm getting it. He okay. did say for me to play Gears 4, 
Uh, so what I'm gonna, do, I actually got the uh, the one dollar game pass. Mm. It's one dollar for three months. That's insane. Yeah, so that's I, one thing I love about Microsoft. So just how I, consumer friendly. They yeah, are. so I bought that, and I'm gonna be when I have time, I'm gonna be booting up some of the games on there. Um, but I'm getting this one again to support my friend. Okay, because that's cool. Did he talk to you details about it? Uh, as much as he could. Oh, I mean, I mean like general details, not to the a public. Few, a few gen- yeah, he talked to me about the general things. Um, all I'm going to say is uh, there was some stuff in that conversation we had that he was very hush-hush about. Okay. And he said, and I said a few things, and I watched his reaction, and all I'm going to say is, oh boy, there might be some stuff cooking. Cool. Also, I do have free access to go to the Microsoft campus. Really? Because since he works there, he could bring me and his friends and family. I might be going to Seattle next spring. Wow. Because this is not far away, but it'll be like a nice little trip. See how that goes. Okay. Okay. All right. And also Gears Funko Pop. The game. The game. <laughs> That's not developed at, by Microsoft. And he knows nothing about it. I ask. They were all just as confused as we were. <laughs> cool. Um, then a... Uh... A living car will emerge from the yes. stage. I actually got the Forza. Which one? There's Horizon, and then it's just the like the main line. Horizon. I got Forza Horizon three. Yeah, it came bundled with my my Xbox there. That, that's the more casual one, I think. Right? Arcade. Arcade. Yeah, it's Arcade. So there's apparently a lot of like old Sega racing game stuff in it. Like you can race to like Daytona USA, hmm. and so I'm like, okay, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, the Regalia. From Final Fantasy is in it? Really? Yeah, it's just in it. Huh. You can just drive around in it. It's like, okay. That's cool. That is pretty cool. Um, do you think like a for- new Forza mainline? or I don't keep up with Forza. I do not. Uh, <laughs> probably not. I don't think so. I think this one just came out. And, there's, and there is DLC for it. Hmm. So maybe a big DLC expansion for uh, Horizon, whatever. Uh, but I can't see it being a new mainline right away. Okay. Not much to say on that, but... Yep. All right. Uh, Battletoads. 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 That was confirmed last yeah, year. I forgot about that one. Uh, hand-drawn, uh, downloadable. Probably going to be put on Switch, too. You think so? Because well, they got Cuphead. I guess. Right? Yeah. So, obviously, there's there's some stuff happening there, and Battletoads was always on Nintendo. So, I could see that. That'd be cool. I And, and in general, I think we're going to see some more Nintendo crossover stuff. Now, what do you mean by stuff, that? So, stuff from Xbox and Xbox Live moving over to Nintendo. I can, I can see a big reveal being, hi, we're Microsoft, and we're putting the Master Chief Collection on Switch. That would be insane. Huge. Huge. And Not with just no, for this, but for with the industry no, as well. With no PlayStation there. They have free that would dis- That would gobble up everything, yeah. right? Uh, that'd be huge. That'd be like, a main, that'd be like the main thing, yeah. E3. I don't know about main thing. That would be uh, the biggest second thing, but they would they would keep something for their own system first. Okay. Yeah, but that'd be huge, and I could see it absolutely. Mm-hmm. You know, there's been talk, and honestly, I think because the Switch is not a competitor to the Xbox, they no. are a cooperator, just like yeah. the Switch is a cooperator with the PlayStation. Yep. So why not embolden the thing and be like, hey, if you play on Xbox. You can transfer your saves and your trophies to the Switch. Boom. And vice versa. Vice versa, right? Cloud stuff. They're already working together on that stuff, so mm-hmm. why not? You think, but you think that's going to come this soon, though? I think they'll announce it. Okay. Yeah, but I, uh, I, and I can't see it taking super long, but we'll see. It depends on how long it's been in the works. I mean, it's a, of note, there was a working Halo DS prototype. Really? Yeah, Halo on the DS. Huh. Yeah. So, and there was um, Viva Pinata, which is a rare and Microsoft oh, yeah. franchise, was on the yeah. DS as well. They've like, this isn't it's not unprecedented like you know like like with Sony mm-hmm. like there's precedent right. Um, and then I can see since there's nowhere else to go those Japanese third party games you know probably Neo Two, maybe that rumored uh, George 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 Martin George 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 Martin from Software Game. Maybe I don't know if they Where release go, on. Uh, I don't know if they release on um, Xbox in Japan. Oh, I guess eh? right. Like like some of the like some of the could be like a stuff state does, of play reveal. Maybe might be might be. Yeah, we'll have to see. Anything else from Microsoft? Uh, no. But right now, I'm gonna say for me, a Microsoft is about at a six point five. Six point five. Yeah. Okay, I'd say around the same. Yeah. So like, there's there's potential there, 
But at the same time, just going off of what I know will be there, I'm only a little bit excited. Okay. Cool. And then in the evening, we got Bethesda. Bethy. 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 Um, Doom Eternal. Can't wait to see more of that game. Yeah. That's like... One of the main things I'm excited for. Hey, for the C3. Hey, what? Do you have a? Do you have a phone? That's Blizzard. Wait. That's a Blizzard. Oh shoot! Stupid. Whatever. <laughs> Dang. Oof! That. There goes my joke. <laughs> Whoops! Is my weeb showing? <laughs> um, I have down here uh, Elder Scrolls stuff. It's confirmed we're not seeing Elder Scrolls Six or Starfield. Yeah. No way. So. Those are those are next gen. Yeah. Mid, are, and mid next gen, probably. Mid next gen. Um, but I probably more about the mobile game. You don't Did think that launch? I don't know. Uh, Good thing we have phones. Yeah. Do you know? Uh, <laughs> do you know about the? Um, what was I eat? Oh, Fallout seventy six. I don't. I can't see okay. them not doing anything about it. So it's it's out. The uh, Elder Scrolls, Scrolls Blades. Blades. Um. I could see them doing a thing being like Sorry. The, first, the first big update, not a paid expansion. No, definitely. Or it's free to play. I could see free to play going. Free to play and an expansion, get people back in, try to save it. Maybe a Fallout 5 teaser. Uh, they like teasing their with, games. But with, um, the, what's the not Fallout game by the Fallout people? Oh, um... The one I'm looking really looking forward to. Uh, yeah, the one with the name that we don't. Outer, outer, outer realms, out realms. Out, it's outer something. Outer rim, out world, out of time. <laughs> um, uh, out it's, house. It's by Oblivion, right? Oblivion. No, it's uh, by uh, Morrowind. <laughs> no, that's. I can Obsidian. make the Obsidian. Jokes too. Obsidian. Obsidian game. Did I tell you that there's a there's a place underneath Bioware that's just a store called Obsidian and how easy it is to laugh about it? The Outer Worlds, it's the, called. I said Outer Worlds. No, you didn't. I said Outworlds. <laughs> um, yeah, what about it? I think there's no way they'll try and... If they were to tease Fallout 5, that would make them seem like the big bad company oh, yeah. trying to eat up the little people. That's, that's Which fair. they don't need right now. Um, maybe a Rage 2 DLC? I could see that, yeah. Um, did you know that game even came out? Yeah, I did. Wild. <laughs> Wild. Apparently it's just like okay. vi- vanilla yeah, I've video heard, game. I've heard it's, 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 the most, <laughs> it's the most video game video game, yeah. <laughs> but like not in a good way. Um, what else do they have? I, mean, I could see them doing... Oh, what about... Uh, Unreal. What about that one Unreal Hero oh, yeah. shooter? Did that even come out? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Quick, Quick Champions. Quick Champions, yes. Yeah, it's like, did that even come out? I th- did, I th- did anyone play wasn't it? Wasn't it a beta when it was uh, v- talked about last year? Well, it has a 6 out of 10. Well, so that apparently it's out. explains that. <laughs> um, Let me just go to Bethesda's page. I just, I don't know. Remember when people thought Bethesda could do no wrong? Yeah, I do remember that. Whoopsies. Yeah, Doom. May, uh, Doom's going to be like the main. Well, yeah, because what else do they have? Oh, uh, Wolfenstein Two. Oh yeah, and well, no, there's the other Wolfenstein with the Wolfenstein the... babies. We'll <laughs> no. make our dreams come true. Um, Young Blood. Young Blood, yes. That's Wolfenstein probably. babies. What? You what play. You, you play as the daughters of B.J. Blazkowicz. Oh, right. Yeah. It's Wolfenstein babies. Um, probably some more Skyrim stuff. Oh, Skyrim on what this time? <laughs> I'm just Todd. You can't bring it to the Switch again. What? You're putting it in Labo VR? <laughs> Todd would absolutely put it in Labo. You think VR. Todd's gonna be there? What? Where? Where, where, where else, else would he, would he go? <laughs> Fighting Broly. <laughs> Leave Jiren to me, says him. Yeah, it says here, like, there's likely more of, to come on the effort to rehabilitate Fallout 76. Yep. Because it's in a bad place. We gotta make it's people such buy a, it. It's such a shame, because, like, around the, like, there was a time when I wanted to get in Fallout, but then, like, 76 was coming out. Yeah. And then Bad it's, time. It's just a bad time to get into it. A bad time to get into video games. Port, uh, <laughs> port Fallout 3 to the PS4. Yep. 
I could see that. I could see that in New Vegas getting ports. Oh, that'd be so cool. Would it though? I'd I'd, I'd buy it. Would you give your money to help fund more Fallout 76? If it meant playing good games, yeah. Yikes. Okay. (laughs) So how excited are we for Bethy? Solid like eight. Whoa! Yeah. Just for Doom? Just for Doom. Wowie wow. This game's going to be amazing. That's a solid four for me. Really? And that four is all of Doom. No Elder Scrolls? I don't care. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, you can mod anime girls into it, which is pretty cool. But do you see? An, hold on. I was going to say like no IP, but there's Starfield they're working on, so yeah, no, no, no IP. No, no, no. They they put too much effort into their IPs to make another one right now, unless okay. unless they. I could see them doing just little stuff, but at the same time, not really. Like they're not one to do little stuff, so mm-hmm. I don't know. Okay, cool. Then we got Monday, the next day. PC gaming. Okay. Yo, you ready for graphics cards? I have no idea what Get happens the new at these things. G4 X98, GeForce 4 2069 Blaze It graphics card. You'll be able to render the pores of characters in 8K definition. You'll be able to mine bitcoins like no one's ever dreamed of. So, um, my friend. You'll play Solitaire at 4,000 frames per second. You won't even see the cards move. <laughs> It's just a still image. Brand new speedrun deck. You've already won. Um, since I have no idea what to talk about here, um, one of my friends, he just built a PC. Yep. Damien, he just built a PC. Um, and it's already outdated. <laughs> that's what I was... He, like, sent me some snaps of it. I'm like, it looks, it looks cool, but, like, I don't know. Are you going to use it? <laughs> yeah, but does it glow red? It does. Oh! <laughs> it does. It's, it's the, like... It's the gamer computer. It's like translucent. I know, I love those. <laughs> it looks cool. Mine's glowing red right now! <laughs> but, like, is there anything, like, PC-related that you... Apparently, they, they do about? show off some indies here, uh, which might okay. be interesting. Uh, I don't know. You do have a PC, so... I do, yes. and I, I play games on it, and they run well. And when you crank the games up to look good, it's like, wow, mm-hmm. those can look pretty good. But at the same time, I'm not like those freaks who they play a game, <laughs> and they're like, time to crank it up to the highest setting. Oh no, I'm only hitting 143 <laughs> frames per like second. A page full of, like, different optimizations yeah, and all uh, <laughs> I was watching this one guy play Hat in Time. <laughs> And like he cranked it up and there was like there was a loading section that rendered it to fifty nine frames per second and he spent two hours on a stream trying to make it so that it didn't hit the fifty nine frames per second <laughs> stutter. And even when people are telling him, it's cause it's loading something. He's like, I don't care. It needs to be a constant sixty. And I'm like, Oh, you are a gamer. <laughs> <laughs> With every sense of the word. It's every sense. So yeah, uh, how excited are we? Zero. Two. There might be an indie. Okay. One. I'll say one. Fair enough. Okay. okay. Not not to say that like, this this show is probably really cool for the PC gamers. It's it's a product show, really. I guess it's it a is. Pr- it's it's mostly. I've tuned just, in like, sometimes for like a few minutes, and, and it looks really corporate. Oh yes, this is the most. This is the <laughs> most corporate. There's no characters out on stage. There are businessmen yeah, advertising suits. new, like, physical things, usually. Yeah. After that, Ubisoft. Ubi- is it Ubisoft or Ubisoft? I say, I say, I, I go between the two sometimes. Okay. <laughs> right now, it's Ubisoft for me. Ubisoft. 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 <laughs> That's a good one. Ubisoft. Um, I'm actually really excited for this one. Really? Watch Dogs 3. Okay. I gave you Watch Dogs too. Yeah, we'll um, see how that goes. But there's been rumors that it takes place in London. You're a oh, pip pip cheerio, a female protagonist. Ooh, yeah. Gamers aren't gonna like that. <laughs> um, you can. Uh... I I accept that I can hack this person's <laughs> smartphone from 45 feet. When away, I say female, but I'm like, that's don't a cool thing. accept a woman being able to use technology. When I say that, I mean like that's a cool thing. I want that. Oh yeah, no, for you, yeah. For but the, not for gamers. For the sweaty nerds. Um, I just don't relate to a female because I don't <laughs> see them ever. Jesus. Um, parkour is returning, which I'm happy. Okay. Well, this, these are all rumors right now. Yeah. Um, apparently, there's skateboarding. Boom. That's what I heard. That's like the main thing. for lives? Yeah. <laughs> um, there's like graffiti you can put on the walls. Uh, okay. No, it's Jet Set Radio. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. I really enjoyed the second Yo, one. Where's Sega? 
Where's Sega? Uh, there's a part at the very bottom where I put just like miscellaneous stuff okay. so we can talk about it then. Okay, because I was really sad. <laughs> um, what do you think about Watch Dogs 3? I Before will, you play I will be Sega. watching for those dogs 3. Yes. I um, have nothing to say because I have not played anything. You will eventually. I will. Um, new Assassin's Creed probably. Uh, yeah, there's the rumor the... is Assassin's Creed Ragnarok. That's a cool title. With Vikings. The, the Thor used it already. Yeah, well. Um, uh, you know that it'll... Because it, if it's going off of um, Odyssey and stuff, it's going to be like, pre-order now for the legendary weapon Mjolnir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, I still want to get into the more recent Assassin's I hope Creed. there's another weird Final Fantasy crossover. Because that was the <laughs> weirdest part of... of um, what was That's the kinda, first one? I was in Origins. Origins. Yeah. You get a Chocobo horse. That's so out of left field. You get the engine. Like, I went over to my cousin's house, and she's playing it. She's like, I found this weird sword, and it's just the engine blade. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. There's, like, no precedent for that crossover either, is there? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, there is one. There was Assassin's Creed crossovers in Final Fantasy XIII, oh, yeah, too. Oh, yeah, There was Mass Effect in Final Fantasy XIII, too. Mm. Yeah, there, there's, there's been... I don't have anything to say about it. No? No. You're not going to get it? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you know me. I know. Um, Beyond Good and Evil 2. This? Okay. I hope they scrap that thing of... Oh, you, the, the you make the content, we'll put yeah. it in the game. That is just scamming people for free yeah. assets. I remember that is, being... That's bad. Kind of died off like right after E3, though. Yeah, so I think it might be dead because there is big backlash. Mm-hmm. Um, just hire people. Yeah. Just hire people. Even if you hire them for like one thing and then they buy, then you buy it, the rights from them, then money is exchanged. You're good, right? Mm. But it's like, man, yeah, that, that thing was bad. Uh, but otherwise... Um, Did you play the first one? No. No. It's on I the N64. Oh, yeah. It's old. Uh, and it's, uh, or was it GameCube? I don't know. Either way, I think it might be GameCube. But either way, it's basically an Ocarina of Time type puzzle platformer in uh, kind of a future world. Cult classic for sure. And this this one is looking like a... very different. Insane. And has the main character being evil from the first game. Yeah. That's an interesting thing. Well, well there we'll was some see. gameplay from last year that showed like No Man's Sky type, like planet jumping. Let's what? <laughs> hope they live up to it. Like, this is, like, next-gen anticipation. You know what? Shout-outs to No Man's Sky for sticking in, though. Yeah. I'll give them that. I mean... I see it pop up every so often. I'm and like, there are people who play it, apparently, and they're like, it's getting real. It's It got to the point where we wanted, and now it's going even more. And you're like, hey, cool. Oh, I'm not going to play it, though. No. Maybe one day, if they, like, do something really cool. Or it becomes a free PlayStation Plus game. Maybe. Maybe even then. We don't know. Anything else on Beyond Good and Evil? Uh, I hope that they move beyond the evil and just become good. Okay. With like and... the, the, the stealing of content and stuff. Okay. With that, uh, Skull and Bones. Skull and Bones. Pirate game, but yes. not the pirate game from Rare. Um, <laughs> Nothing to say? Nope. It's basically just like... Another pirate they open saw, world. They saw how, pe- how uh, well people... Um, responded to the Assassin's Creed yeah. both stuff like, let's like, make this our own thing and then it's probably Rare be, announced theirs team. and they're like ah! <laughs> and then Rare's wasn't good and they're like yay and then theirs is going to be the same it's going to be ah! <laughs> so <laughs> with a pirate accent <laughs> it's, I those could see this, scurvy dogs at Rare be taking our market I could see this being like microtransaction heavy yeah oh Definitely, yeah with this one um, Pay 99 cents for a gold-plated eye patch. <laughs> hey, how much... You how bring much, up, like, the worst thing how much? <laughs> how much would you pay to turn the figurehead of your ship into a rabid? <laughs> I'd pay good money for I that. I would actually pay for that. Um, and every time, like, you, you ring the bell, it goes, Wah! That'd be stupid. Oh, yeah. Um, Absolutely. And then there's the uh, roller champions. Yeah, Um, it involves a ball and skateboards. So it's basically that sport from Battle Angel Alita. Cool. I'm down. That was cool. You saw the logo, right? Yeah, I saw a bit of it. It looks like there's there's, images. There was a mock-up kind of sort of uh, key art. 
Okay. Yeah, it, it looks like what you would expect. Um, yeah, rolling with balls and skateboards. A little bit of a radical sports game, which I think we need more of. Like this? Uh, yes. This I looks don't know. Really cool, actually. Yeah, there it is. That's the one I saw. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so it's like, you know, you Not are, skateboarding, like roller blades. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say skateboarding. I don't know about that. Um, yeah, so skating with uh, the ball, and then you got to dunk it in the hole. There's hmm. tracks. I could see that. Because it's been like the next rock. Apparently, controls. might be on Switch, too. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Because it's not. Uh, graphically intensive yeah so i think that's neat i think that's neat and there could be some fun stuff with like unlockable costume pieces from ubisoft characters you know get like sam fisher gear get uh rayman stuff yeah that'd be cool that'd be neat i'm looking forward to that yeah that that i think could could turn out well because i like fantasy or unrealistic sports games like real sport games boring but you give one weird quirk to it and i'm like i'm in right okay you know, um, football, boring. I mean, like, football, football, not soccer, football. Football, yeah. boring. But then it's like, yeah, but your dudes are monsters. <laughs> and they can literally tear each other apart. It's like, I'm in! F- football is pretty pretty hype s- still, though. Uh, I like football. I mean, it's... I'd watch it. I, I, I like watching it. It's, it's hype. I like watching it live. Oh, yeah, no. That's I wouldn't what I mean watch too. it on TV. No, no, no. Okay. Like, being in the stadium watching it. Yeah, yeah, it, that's it's, different. It's, yeah. it's hype. Um, so I would, I put down here another Nintendo crossover project with rabbits with rabbits or just specifically with rabbits, like Mario and rabbits too. So not Mario and rabbits too. Uh, the success of Mario and rabbits was huge. Uh, it is one of the switch's best sellers. It is always at the top downloaded list. Uh, they also, they were selling, you know, those, the, like the statues, not the amiibos, but like the big statues. Yeah, They're now the selling same. them EB. with a code for the game and the DLC. Okay. So for like 30 bucks, you get the statue, the code and the Donkey Kong DLC. That's like, that, that's good. Right. So I can fully see them being like, and it's such a success. And I think they said that they want to do more projects with Nintendo. Okay. So I don't think we're going to get Mario and Rabbids. I can see them doing another franchise with Rabbids. Zelda and Rabbids. So Zelda and Rabbids is the first one to go to, right? Yeah. But I think, let's go crazy. Metroid and Rabbids. Metroid oh, and Rabbids, right? that'd be so cool. Right? I'd buy that. Right? Unfortunately, like, I tried Mario and Rabbids. I had it for a bit, but traded it in. Yeah. It just wasn't my cup of tea. It's neat, but I could also see them changing the gameplay up, too. Changing yeah. it up to be slightly different, you know? Um, but there's a whole bunch of franchises that would be really neat to cross over. Heck, what about, like, a Splatoon and Rabbids? That'd be crazy. Right, like, like some type of, you know, <laughs> building on that world, and they fit in with the world kind of already, right? You know, and you already have the basis of um, it being, because, like, you played the beginning, right? Yeah, yeah. The rabbits are from the rabbit world who then warp into the Mario world by finding a Mario fangirl's stuff mm-hmm. and getting sucked into that world. So you already have a way to get back into other game worlds, right? Yes. I think there could be a lot done there. And instead of doing XCOM... Make it like another franchise of theirs, right? Yeah, I don't know yeah. what, but you know, yeah. I think I think I could see that happening. And at this point, yeah, sure, have fun with it. Mario and Rabbids was weird, and I kind of appreciate that. Props to Ubisoft for turning the Rabbids from this hateable. I've never thing hated them to this like like I've successful never, product. I've never hated them. They were kind of annoying at one point. I'm like, yeah, get out of here. I I I, I always liked them. Okay, did, wait, did you, did you see the For Honor thing with them? Yeah, for I April did. April Fool's, that was the best, but people said it was unplayable because every time you hit them, because they're like the Muso parts where you're hitting a bunch of them, yeah. they would go, Wah! and like so like you're doing it and you just hear this like horrible sound as you're slicing them. I love that. Bring that up. Do you think we're going to see more For Honor I could stuff? see a bit of For Honor. Yeah. Okay. Just a bit of a new, the new class stuff because they brought in China recently as a mm-hmm. whole faction. Is that doing well? I, I hear it come up every so often, but... It has a dedicated fan base. Okay. And there's, like, local tournaments and stuff for it, too. Okay. So it's pretty big for that. Cool. Anything else from Ubisoft? Nope. Nothing at all? I don't think so. I think we covered everything possible. Okay. Out I mean, I mean, I'd like a new Rayman, but I don't think it's going to happen yet. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think not yet. Okay. How much out of ten? Six? Six? Definitely an eight for me. Okay. Again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Square Enix. Oh boy. This is a. This is like a. This is in PlayStation spot eight. Eh? Yeah, 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 this is big. Yeah, this is a big one. They know it probably. Okay. So 
first off, the one that we know. Final Fantasy VII. Oh, baby! <laughs> um, I think we're going to see Tifa. Because she was, she was in the gameplay, but they didn't show her. Um, I think we're going to see... I, okay, I'm going to be real here. We're going to see... One shot of the cross-dressing scene. <laughs> that will make the crowd go wild. Okay. Like, that will be the pop-off for people. Um, and it'll probably be... I think we're going to see Tifa cross-dressing and then one further point in the game. To sort of show how far how they're going, they okay. right? Like, how far they're going with disc one, right? Okay. So, if it's going to be the end of Midgar, they'll show a bit of that section. Mm. If they're going up to the end of disc one, which a lot of people think, and then the second one will be disc two and three, which has enough content to do that, because three is pretty much just the... Three is pretty much the final dungeon alone, so it's like three is not even a real disc. It's like kind of a half disc. Okay. Uh, so it's like, really, it's broken up into two already. So I think it'll be either end Midgar, to show that they'll do three, or it'll be the end of disc one, which is... A certain scene with a certain character who may bite the big one. We'll see. Oh, you mean like the, the right right before? Yes. Okay. I think we will see a dis, a heartless angel descending. I wouldn't. I wouldn't like to see that. I want to wait to play that game to see that. Like, okay. It, okay. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. That scene is iconic. I know. It's it's like it's it's one of the most famous. I think we'll just see the beginning of him descending because it's a it's okay. an iconic move okay. of him set of him like holding it down and descending. Okay. Right. I think we'll if if we if it's <laughs> going that far, we will just see the start of that. Okay. Right. Um. So gameplay. Yeah, gameplay. We're going to see more of that. We really might. We might for the first one. I could see for the first one, and they'll probably end up saying. For uh, PS4 and next gen, okay, to be like to bring that in because I I'm a sh- I feel like they they'll release together, like do like a Breath of the Wild sort of thing. Okay, um, I think we might get an explanation of the gameplay because there's some people who still look at it and go it's just Final Fantasy 15 when it's clearly not. <laughs> uh, do you know how it works? Is it Kingdom Hearts? N- no. It's actually closer to Final Fantasy VII's original. Really? So here's how it works. You can press, let's just say X, I don't know the buttons, to do your regular attacks at any time. Uh. Just slash, slash, slash. No worry about anything. But you have an active time battle gauge. When that gauge is full, that's when you do your limits. Okay. Your limits are the ones that do major damage. So to give you a perspective on how the damage works is... Your regular slashes do about 20 damage. Your limits do about 1,400. <laughs> okay. So what is the moves that you actually use to deal damage? It's your limits. Mm-hmm. So you're basically building... You use the small slashes to build up your limit gauge and use that for the big damage. Which, hey, that's a pretty accurate way to summarize Final Fantasy VII's gameplay. Yeah. Uh, and, then, and then, of course, you can switch characters and use items. So it's interesting looking. It's going to be interesting. Okay. I hope the rumor is true. That was the one that was like the leak of like, there was a leak, a leak about how it's going to go down. And uh, that's what the one that said like, yeah, it goes up to disc one and they, they went over some details. Uh, Did they say, mention a demo? They mentioned the demo. They mentioned it's playable at E3, which we'll, we'll know then if yeah. it's real or not. <laughs> uh, they also mentioned uh, Yuffie. And uh, Vincent are not optional party members anymore. They'll be turned uh, mandatory, which I can totally see in the final game. Um, they also mentioned a few changes, so again, we'll have to see. But uh, otherwise, boy, that's going to be a good game, I feel. <laughs> you think they're going to stick the landing? Oh, yeah, they have to. Okay. They have to with this one. <laughs> There's no way they won't be allowed to. They have to. It's the Final Fantasy VII remake. That's a pretty big deal. Yeah. Cool. Moving on. Uh, Dragon Quest Builders 2, probably just a short trailer for this. It's out in Japan, right? Already? Okay. Oh, yeah. It's out in Japan. It's it's already got its three DLC packs out of uh, just, like, skin packs for certain ways to build stuff. Uh, so probably just a short trailer, probably saying, like, um, hey, if you have Dragon Quest Builders 1 save data, you get these items and stuff. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Dragon Quest 11. 
Oh, it's S. On S. S. Shadows of Elusive Age. Definitive edition. Definitive that is edition. the longest title ever. <laughs> um, yeah, probably a trailer showing off some of the new stuff. Uh, no, that's not out in Japan, so we're going to see definitely, uh, hopefully, some more stuff for that. Probably a few new costumes or maybe a crossover thing uh, for like a quest or something. You know that Shonen Jump thing we discussed? Yep. Yeah. Do you think that news would be revealed here at the Square Enix? No. No? No. If it's... Because here's the thing. Where does E3 take place? Oh, time zones. No. Well, in... What country? The United States. Guess what country does not care about Dragon Quest? United States. United States. <laughs> That's fair. That would be something to either give to Nintendo or to save for uh, their own thing. Whatever it is. Okay. Um... But they're, they're trying. pushing. They're trying. I wonder but, why. Yeah, but <laughs> we'll have to see. Um, Kingdom Hearts DLC. Yes, I can definitely see us getting a short teaser on what that'll be. Probably not anything definitive just yet, but uh, even just a short one. Because it's the way the DLC works is it's basically like the remixed campaign that changes stuff up along with an extra stuff. So I could. All they got to do is show a little bit of Kingdom Hearts three and show one thing new, and then they'll be like, "For people, don't worry, it's coming." You know. Okay. So we'll have to see there. Avengers. Yeah, the Avengers game. You think this is coming back? I mean, it has to. I mean, Square Enix has like a six p.m. slot here. Yeah. So they kind of have to come go all out. I could even see them leading with that. Really? Yeah, I could see them leading with it and if, finishing with Final Fantasy. Yeah. 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 Okay. So anything that's, I mean, we don't know anything about it. That's fair. Yeah. We don't know anything. So how's it going to go? Like, what's it going to be like? You know, is it, if it's by Crystal Dynamics, is it going to be like an RPG-ish sort of thing? Is it going to be... Can't be a, a Ultimate Alliance type game. No, no, no. What, what, I mean more of like a, a Western RPG style sort of thing. Oh, okay. Like, 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 a, like a Deus Ex, right? Like that's, oh, okay. that's an RPG, but it's not really. So yeah. uh, we don't know. We'll have to see. We will. Anything else from Square Enix that nope. you want to see? No? Out of ten. Eight. Eight? Eight. I, I can definitely see them filling it up with some things I don't care about, like maybe a new Tomb Raider where I'm just like, please, no, please stop. We're, <laughs> we're good. No one's played the last two. Um, or even more Just Cause 4, because that one's bad. Um, or is it just, is 4 is out, or is it 3? 4 is out. God, I don't even know. I heard um, 4 is pretty good, actually. I've heard it's not. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Um... I'd say I'm about a five. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Final Fantasy VII, like, nothing here really screams Fair enough. me. I am excited to play Dragon Quest XI. I was thinking about getting it on PS4, but I'm like, if there's going to be a better version on Switch, I'm just going to I think I'm going to pick it up too, if Erdrick gets into Smash. Even if he doesn't, it's, it, it is good to play Japan's Call of Duty. That's fair. You know, and you like turn-based now, so it's yeah. very similar for that regard. Okay. Next up, Devolver Digital. Oh, man. I'm, we have three I'm question just marks excited here. to see what madness awaits. I do <laughs> hope we get an... Okay, so I, I think we're going to get Metal Wolf Chaos. An, oh, it's a vacuum. Okay. Like, <laughs> what is that sound? Um, I think we'll get Metal Wolf Chaos, an update on that. Um, I hope that... I kind of hope they drop the, the tagline, Mech America Great Again. As funny <laughs> as that was... I've seen a lot of people complaining that it's kind of in poor taste, and I get yeah. that. Um, I think I want them to do another weird revival. Of what? Some some weird niche obscure game, right? I don't know. I don't know what, but I, I want I want, I want them to do another where it's like, hey, remember this old game? Ha, guess who's publishing it? <laughs> These guys. You know, something like that. Gonna, what weird thing do you want them to like... Because last year was like that Bitcoin thing. Oh yeah, that was that was crazy. No, no, <laughs> but I, I want I want like a I don't know. How on Miami three? Oh right. Um. Oh, well, actually, I wonder if they'll be involved with Suda fifty one again. Because where else would he go? Suda said he has something to maybe announce for No More Heroes. Well, no, wasn't that the PS four port? No, but he said something else. Oh, that was after he announced the PS four port. He said at E3, he might have mm. a little something. So You think it might go here? I, well, where else would it go? Microsoft? No, no. If any, well, the only other place would be Nintendo if they were to do No More Heroes yeah. 3. But uh, I don't know. Devolver, I'm just looking forward to a buckwild ride. Same. After the uh, 
Ubisoft and Square Enix conferences. Just to goof off a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Now, Tuesday. The big boy. The main event. Nintendo. 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 Well, the big one out of the way, Animal Crossing. <laughs> okay. I think this is going to be their showrunner. Their Smash, their Odyssey, their yep. Breath of the Wild. It's going to be the one that they're going to push. It's going to be the one that they're There's always going that to... issue of how are you going to advertise that on a busy conference floor, effectively. Oh, well, the good news is it's not going to be on the conference floor. It's going to be in a Nintendo Direct. Yeah, but they have a conference floor. And Remember. then it will be showed by uh, the Treehouse, and then they won't be playable. What? That then? That's not its main event. Well, well, here's the thing. Because you know what they do now? They they transform their floors into the main events. And I, I could see them doing it. I could see them doing it Animal Crossing style, but. I don't think they have to actually have it playable there, because it's, I, I, it's I such a per- no. But it's such a personalized thing. Like no one, like your everyone's Animal Crossing is gonna be different. They Unless can't... they have like houses you go into and it's all quiet. No, no, no. What I think it's gonna be <laughs> is they'll, they'll do it up Animal Crossing style, but then have the characters presenting other games with trailers for Animal Crossing going around. Okay, I could see that. Right, they're yeah. gonna have other games set up, Cadence of Hyrule. A lot of the other what stuff that has been announced already, maybe a few, maybe um, a few things that are already out to advertise to people that haven't picked them up, Yoshi, you know, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it'll be then the new stuff, right? I can um, see them doing like these like cute little mini games around the floor, yeah, like go right? fishing or whatever, yeah, right. I yeah. could yeah, doing it up in that style, shake a tree to get stuff, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but I can definitely see that being at the for- uh, forefront, be shown off by the treehouse a lot. Oh, afterwards because yeah, it's literally called the treehouse yep and uh <laughs> otherwise uh that's gonna be because it's got to be at this point right we've, we've talked about a lot about what we want from this game in previous we have podcasts, yeah. but i just hope it doesn't i hope it's animal crossing first and foremost i i can definitely see it being animal crossing but more specifically i want to return to does it make more sense if i say the more difficult animal crossing no, it doesn't. Okay. I don't know. I, I know what you mean, though. You I mean felt like New more Leaf like... was way too hand-holdy, way too... What do you mean by hand-holdy? Like, give an example. Just the way it's like... How do I do Because I don't... Number one, getting rid of 90% of the villager dialogue killed me. Making villagers have so few lines. I guess, yeah. That, that I didn't like. Uh, not being able to easily do requests for them. I missed that. You know, you just you just having one talk button means they can't you can't ask for a quest from them. Um, I don't know. I just felt it was you got so much money so quickly that there was no like the island grinding and like all that stuff. I don't know. I just I want to return more to Animal Crossing specifically GameCube, but I'll also take okay, Wild I, World. When you say more difficult Animal Crossing, I definitely say what you mean now. Because, like, New Leaf was really casual. It was more focused on, like... Way casual. It was definitely on more of a... I want not, you... Not enjoyment, but, like... I want you to start off in a large area. And it's you, Tom Nook in his shack, and one other villager. So they build, and I a, want build you a village. to build it up. That's what I okay. want. Okay, okay. Because because want... newly, if you went to a town that was already established, yeah, yeah it's, okay. And then like, because as you go back, it's like okay. Then in city folk, now you have a city that's separate, right? Mm-hmm. You're still in this suburb area, right? You're still very rural. Yeah. Then in Wild World and GameCube, that's it. You're in the wilderness, right? And I want to go back. to That's that. why I love Wild World. I think how uh, wild it was. Yeah. Right. So yeah. I, I want to go back to I want to and I want Tom Nook to be a shopkeeper again. Give him back his job. What what gimmick do you th- think? Not gimmick, but like, you know, there was the city and city folk and the main street and New Leaf. What separate Animal thing? Crossing back to nature. Really? Back to nature. Like it's in like, okay. I want it to be really, really in nature. Okay. You start in a tent. You build it up. You know, um, I want it to be, I want there to be maybe a bit of farming. Yeah. 
Like I want that the... would that would cross Harvest Moon territory. For yeah, me. but Harvest Moon is dead. So so, so bring it's that... not out of people's minds though. Well, yeah, cause, but because Harvest Moon is now made a shell of a former company who are <laughs> pumping out mobile games with microtransactions on the consoles, that's bad. But what I'm saying is, I want I want there to be a a return to what's the what's the name of Animal Crossing in Japan? Oh, Animal Forest. I want it to return to Animal Forest. Okay. I want it to return to it being this game about you being a little villager person. Going to what is essentially this, like, boonies of Japan. Because, like, look at Tom Nook Shop, right? Like, that is that is quintessential, like, small-town Japanese candy store, but right? But you can have... You can build it up. Yeah, you city. can build it up, but I want to start at okay. near nothing. I heard someone mention they want it to be, like, Breath of the Wild Animal Crossing. That is <laughs> never going to happen. <laughs> Where you can, like, leave your town and Now, I will say, papers. I would like it to be full 3D rotatable cam- camera... But I want it to still be the same perspective. Okay, okay. I def- I just want, I just want more creative freedom. I think. Yeah, and I feel like, but st- starting from scratch, because then it'll be like, hey, we can make a river in town. Can you draw the path of the river? Yeah, just make. Or like, hey, now we need bridges. Where do we want the bridge to go? Back in Animal Crossing GameCube, it was like, yeah, pick the bridge location, right? Yeah. Or it'll be or like that was in Wild World. That was uh, and oh yeah, then that was in I guess uh, New Leaf too with when you bought them because there's only one bridge per town till you oh, bought yeah. more. Right. Um but it'll be like, you know, stuff like, okay, what's our next project as a town? And not as a mayor, but just as like the first settler. Do you want like a me- additional mechanics on top of these? Like like say like like XP or something. Do you want that? Uh I, don't, I think that would be too far. I don't think experience points. I would like a way to visually see my relationships with vis- uh, with other villagers. Okay. So like even just a book saying like, hey, my affection with this character is at level eight, you know? Something to show mm. how they think of you. Um, I You know what I would like? That was a thing I didn't like in uh, Pocket Camp. I though. actually did like that because then it, it, well, okay, but here's the thing. I didn't like it because that was like the only goal of it. But having that be you get to know them and then stuff. But I feel, I, because I, that, because, um relationships to the villagers are more based like internally wh- okay. how you attach but if you put I a mean, number but, to but that there it's just, like, there is a hidden number there is that. but yeah. like but just pretending okay, okay. i think I, I i wouldn't like to put a number fair to enough, my relationship i'd also like villagers to uh sort of run their lives in the way that so you want like breath of the wild not like, really breath of the, okay but think majora's mask yeah, that's what I mean. Think, think yeah. about how the characters have, they wake set, up, set path. they have a set path, and it doesn't have to be the same every day, but no. it can be like, oh, they usually like to go down to the beach in the morning. Yeah. So then you'll see them walking there, picking there up there. shells or something, right? You Before go there and them, see you have them. to wait for them. Yep. Yeah. And I want, to, I want to see sort of a more living world like that, but I want it to be, again, more nature. Right? Okay. You know, I, I, want, I want the museum to be something that when you get it and you, you open it up, it's like it's a big deal, right? <laughs> I don't want you to start with all this stuff. I want you to to have to work for it and it to be this feeling of growing. I wonder if, like, I have it in my mind. It's like a map and, like, you have this set, like, area you spawn in. Yeah. But then as you go along, you can unlock, uh, they're, like, uh, forests. Not forests, but, like, trees. Yeah. And you clear those. Yeah, yeah. By yeah, getting for sure. bells for it or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, that sounds awesome. Yeah. Like that's uh, yeah, just expanding it. Yeah, no, I, that's how I kind of wanted to go. But I'm not the majority of the population. They want it to be more city like. So, I mean, the opposite is just make it in a city. I wouldn't like that. I don't think I'd like that at all. No. Um. Uh, but you see, it's a joke because the it is a urban jungle, like an animal forest. Ha ha ha! Shut up. <laughs> um. But yeah, I think you think this game. When do you think this game's coming out? I could absolutely see them delaying it to next year. Really, early next year. Uh, they need a big hitter for quarter four. They do, but I could see them delaying it to next year. Then what would they have? Whatever else they have. So they've had they've had quarters where they haven't had a big hitter. But like, they like could end of year quarters are they need something there? Yeah, so we'll have to see. I don't know. That's how. That's what I think. I'll, people I'll, are I'll saying be like happy to be surprised. People are saying like September. It's 
Depending how much it, we see. It just depends on how much, because like, we don't know about it yet, right? Yeah. So we don't know how far they are. So we'll have to see. Okay. What next? Well. Are we, are we hopping right into this one? Because, I mean, unless. Are we just doing the big hitters right now? Or let's then... just do the big hitters, then talk about what else. Okay. Smash. Smash! This is a big one. That's a big boy. Um. So there's a lot. So, uh, well, not necessarily, because like, we just, like, all what I'm going to well, say is, so 4.0. You think so? I think so. Well, I think they're going to do a .0 with every character. Okay. So I think we'll probably see um, Home Run. Yeah? Yep. Home Run. Maybe an update to Stage Builder. I could see them doing, like, now you can paint floors to be different colors. Okay. To, like, make it so that the people who do arty stuff don't have to worry about, oh, I need red, let's use fire, right? Mm-hmm. So I could see them doing that, that as a small spikes. update. Spikes and a few more items, yeah. I could see that. Maybe even a few more backgrounds. They're just, the only thing is there's there has there's no pre- precedent for that, right? Of them updating Stage Builder? No, nope, but there's no precedent. But then again, there's never been Stage Builder added in post, so... That's fair. Um... I kind of want, like, a blowout. Like, you know, like, costumes, like... Okay, yeah. So, more me costumes will definitely happen. I do think... I think if they're going to be in the game, character costumes will be announced in E3. If they're going to be a thing. Those would sell. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? Make make it so that dress-up link as Ocarina of Time link. And Mm -hmm. here's eight colors for that, right? Dress up um, Zelda as Melee Zelda or, you know, Twilight Princess Zelda. Ganondorf yeah. is Twilight Princess Ganondorf. Yeah. Huge money, right? Every Fire Emblem character has at least one alt built in. Either their um, their form up or their, you know, time skip or their whatever hero stuff, right? So, like, I think there's, a, there's enough for every character who doesn't have an alt to get one. Okay. You know, I think and it, it could be possible. But if it's not announced at an E3, it won't be anywhere else, I don't think. Okay. Okay. And finally, let's talk characters and stages. Bare minimum here. Like bare minimum we're getting is one. at least a DLC character. I think at least one, and, yeah. Like a DLC pack. A DLC announcement. You think they'll be like, here's the second one, but here's a tease for the third. I don't think so. Because like, th- the, the time between Joker and, uh, like, the Game Awards and Joker was really long. Yeah. That was like, what, four months? Yeah. Four and a half, five. Yeah, they we'll have to see. Could do a lot in, the, but, in that time. But uh, I think I think we'll get Erdrick or whoever for Dragon Quest. Like that day? No, not that day. No, you don't think they like drop it? Like no, they did with, God no. They do it with they. Well, they did it with Ryu and all the th- all the other characters. Yeah, but they they already said basically the schedule. It's going to go up to February twenty twenty. Yeah, but like, what DLC threes in what August? Yeah, August, and then September, October, November, December, January, February. So, okay, so not not that day, but then when? It had to be soon after for DLC 2. August. August? No. Yeah. No, I'd say like... August late... for, for four, or for two. What? September, October for three. What? What's, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Joker came out in April. Yeah, but, it, but we're just looking at the this, this schedule here. In August? Yeah. That's like, that's like a, that's like what? That's four months. Yeah. I don't think they're going to release them super quickly. They're stretching it out. Okay. It's going to February 2020. Well, that's, the, that's like... They're not saying, like, a character will release that month. I think when they say by February 2020, I think they mean that's when the last one's scheduled to be. I don't know. I, I, I'm more... I guess I'm more cynical for this stuff, where I'm like... Because I'm fine with it being later. I don't expect it to be quick. Okay. Like, I just don't... I don't expect it to be. I think it'll be later. If it's sooner, hey! I'm happy! <laughs> but I don't expect it to be. Okay. I just feel like... This game's, like, their main, like, DLC, like, crank, See, you but, know? and so here's the thing. I don't think it's going to be a huge par- portion of their direct. You you don't think it's going to, it's going to get its own direct? Or its own, what? Like, not, not direct, but, like, presentation? 
I think it'll get a section, just like they did in previous ones, where it's like, here's the new updates for Super Smash Brothers. Here's okay. a short trailer of the character. Here's this. Also coming in 4.0 is this. Okay. And check out these meat costumes. <laughs> and maybe, and these costumes for characters. Done. Okay. I, I, I don't, because I, it's a game that's already out. Yeah. And you can only make so much money on DLC. So why would they focus so much on it here? Remember, it's for it's for the you know the, cons- the not the consumers but the the market people, right? I guess. So I just want more Smash. Oh no, absolutely! But I I I don't think they'll spend tons of time on it. Okay. Like I think it'll just be character tease, four point content, Your character reveal. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. Character re- character and stage reveal, four point content, costumes for me's and or fighters. Okay. And I think it's just going to be that for, for, for Smash. So maybe I could see them doing a thing at the end being like, be sure to tune in this month for our next scheduled Smash Direct. Okay. To hint at a future when the next DLC character might be kind of dropping for info. It, it's it throws me off because like how Joker was released, you know, like here's the present, here's like a video, it's out the next day. It just throws me off a bit. Well, yeah, but we knew the month at least pretty much. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, we we because we don't we don't know. Could speculate endlessly on this. Yeah. Uh, next up, uh, Astral Chain. Uh, not much to say on this for. It looks for me. cool. I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. New planning <laughs> game by Hideki Kamiya. I guess, yeah. Sign me up! Um, speaking of, Bayonetta 3, I could see them doing a small video just to say, like, hey, it's still being worked on. Don't you worry. Here's a small teaser. And they'll show another small teaser. Because they had to apparently rework it. Okay. So they say it's still coming, but we'll have to see. Uh, Metro Prime Trilogy? Yeah. Yeah, I could see that dropping. Do you think we'll get Prime 4 stuff? No. I think we might get a re-reveal of the title and stating that it is back in full development, maybe a small short animation pre-rendered. Cause that stuff can be re just reused from when they're in development. Like all, all we got to do is see Samus morph into a ball, go through a tunnel and then fire a missile. Boom. Metroid <laughs> prime four back in development. Right. Okay. Like I could see it being that maybe, um, Ton of indies, as obvious, or as always, um, Cadence of Hyrule. Um, Probably the release date for that one. Yep. Uh, the Celeste DLC, maybe. That was a big one. Okay. Um, Pikmin 4? Pikmin 3 remake? Not remake, but a uh, port. You think we're going to see Wii U, uh, a few Wii U, Wii U ports here? I mean, well, the Pikmin 4 is, or Pikmin 3 is one of the last ones. And Super Mario 3D World. I don't think we'll get 3D World. I think that'll be stuck you don't think there. So? There's there's too much that is uh, Wii U exclusive. Like when you blow on the uh, blow on the platforms Whoa. and you have to like poke to make platforms. Finger. Yeah, but we're, when you're playing on the TV, what do you do? I don't Turn think so. On. I don't think so. Um, okay. I think that one, I think that one's exclusive to Wii U. Mother uh, three. Oh, uh, SMT five. You think that's coming back? That kind of disappeared. Oh, it, disappeared. Well, yeah, because it's Atlas. That's what they do. <laughs> you weren't around for the lead no, up to Persona 5. <laughs> nope. Persona 5 coming 2014. <laughs> Persona 5 coming 2015. <laughs> Persona 5 coming this winter, 2016. Perso- it was bad. <laughs> yeah, like we, there was bouts where we heard nothing for years on Persona 5. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, I think okay. I could see it being now that it's been a while. The first, because we've seen gameplay of it already. Have we? Yeah, the first trailer. That was gameplay. I don't remember. W- running through the like the desert with the mall and the main character has like a like a JoJo style butterfly outfit. Huh. Yeah, we've seen that. I don't remember least. that. Yeah. Um so I could see that being a few stuff there. Speaking of Atlas, Persona five port? Persona three to five port? That would that would be incredible. <laughs> I'm not gonna place money on it though. Maybe three and four, but not five yet. You think three and four? I I could see three and four at this point. Why not yeah. five though? The mo- the most popular one. I think it's because if anything, they might wait for Royale and then do it's Royal Tanner. Sorry, is it not Royale? It's Royal. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think they might wait for Royal and then do 
Royal S. Maybe. Uh, we might see uh, Phantom Strikers A stuff. little bit of that? A little bit, just a little bit. I think Atlas would let that, allow that? Yeah, why not? I don't know. <laughs> it, seems, it seems Atlas is really, like, closed doors. Well, yeah, that's, they usually are until they want to reveal stuff, and then they show a lot, and then they close their doors again. Well, not in the case of the Royal News. I mean... They showed, like, a tra- like a minute trailer and then said, more info later. Yeah. That's about Atlas. Okay, well, I'm not... I'm, I'm not, not... I'm used to that. I'm not... Um... Splatoon 3, no. No, no, no. I could see a Splatoon spin-off, a small one. Like, maybe, like, a Sheldon game or something. Just, like, a small, kind of Captain Toad-style, like, spin-off with Splatoon. Maybe. Well, because the Splatoon DLC is done. Yep. So. So I could see something like that. Um. Sword and Shield? Yeah, of course. Of course. Is it, like, full see, gameplay blowout? Not full gameplay, but at least a trailer showing off a few more Pokemon. Okay. They did that for Sun and Moon, mm. where it's just like, hey, check out, they'll, they'll usually do check out the first few Pokemon of the game. We're going to run through a route, show you a bit of basic gameplay. Yeah, I, I remember that from a previous E3. Um, Anything Zelda or Link's Awakening? Link's Awakening, yep. Uh, a tease, a taste of Monolith Soft's Zelda. Well, they, they have a lot of Zelda there already. They do, but that, no, I'm just talking about a very small tease. Like, I'm talking, like, a, a, a title that's... Like, I'm talking about a blue Zelda font that says Zelda Working Title. Okay. Like, like that's it. Just like Metroid Prime 4 was? The yeah, just a, just a drop. And then it just says Monolith Soft at the bottom, right? Okay. Um, let's see. Anything Donkey Kong related? No. Nah. No? This Amiibo collection you got here is really <sighs> I helpful. love I love a new F-Zero but I still don't believe it. One of my friends is like, it's, it's happening. I'm like, I don't know. There's been <laughs> literally no talk of <laughs> no. F-Zero. Um, Star Fox. Kid uh, I- sorry, Kid- <laughs> screw Star Fox, Kid Icarus. No. No? No. I want that, more Kid Icarus. That will happen when um, Sakurai is done with Smash, retires for two years, and comes back for, for a Kid Icarus 2. Okay, okay. Right? Maybe Monster Hunter. There was the talk about the Monster yeah. Hunter classic series being a separate thing from World continuing. That'd be interesting. Which I could see because they are very different games having played back and forth between them. I could definitely see them coexisting because they are very different. Um, Anything Kirby related? I could see a hint of a new Kirby game. Yeah. Probably not a mainline, but maybe a spin off. Maybe. Like 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 a mass attack or something like that. I'd love a new Kirby Vania. That was so good. That was a <laughs> one off game that I loved. What was that what was that? Amazing Mirror? Amazing Mirror, yeah. yeah. Actually speaking of, New Castlevania could go here. It could. Good. Well Um Maybe Castlevania Collection too. You think that could be revealed? Nah, so, I think so it, I think after? it's a little a little too soon, yeah. 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 Huh. Anything Mario? Okay. I could absolutely see Mario Odyssey 2. Like, at, like you, you think so? As a reveal, yeah. Ooh, that would be a big one. Yeah, I could see it. It's been a while. Odyssey 2 or... Odyssey or like... 2 in the exact same way that Mario Galaxy 2 came out. Okay, that, that's what I was thinking too. Yeah. It's like, we got more ideas. Here you go. Yeah, pretty much, right? Um... Maybe it'll be, like, something crazy where it'll be, like, Princess Peach Odyssey. And it'll be, like, be you cool. play as Peach going through going through the stuff. Huh. Something that's changed up. I could see that. Anything Fire Emblem? Uh, yeah, Three Houses stuff. But, I mean, that's getting blowouts all the time with stuff. So, um, and that's not too far off. So, I think they might do one final thing of, like, um, showing off maybe some Amiibo support. Showing off maybe the first DLC Whatever it'll be, because they always have DLC now. So, so, what about uh, like software? Not software, but like uh, firmware stuff. I could see them announcing folders and themes. I, three DS got it. Like what? How long after it launched? Four years. Yeah, like so it was it later. Still happen. It was later. Yeah, yeah. for sure. So I, I could see that happening. Yep. I want that to happen because I just don't like my OCD. Really goes off every time I. Scroll through it. It doesn't bother me too much. Though I will say. Themes? 
theme wise, I'd what, be what excited you, sorry, for. What were you gonna say? I was just gonna say like the folders I don't care super much about, but for me the themes are definitely one that I'd be like I would like some. I love when you get a theme and it takes like the menu theme from another game and puts it in. I think that's awesome. What do you mean? Like when, like when you buy a theme based on a video game. Oh, like a P- plays, like PS4. Yeah, yeah, it plays oh, okay. like the menu. Th- My favorite theme is the 3DS Dreamcast theme because when you when you uh, turn it on, it makes this sound. Listen, you'll hear it. Listen carefully. <laughs> it makes this sound. Really? It makes that, like, when you boot up the 3DS? Like, You'll hear it. I'll go again. Like, that disc noise? Yeah. It makes that sound. That's cool. They literally recorded, like, four Dreamcasts to find the best one. <laughs> and it plays it when you open it and turn it on. Do you have it on your 3DS now? I don't have it myself. My oh. friend has it. Okay. But it's like, I never bought it because it was just at the time when I wasn't playing it too much. It came really late. But uh, it, and then it, then when it actually turns on, it plays the like, the ambient me- console menu music for the Dreamcast on the 3DS. That's crazy. And they did that for the Saturn as well and some of the Genesis stuff. Mm-hmm. And I love that. You know, taking themes of you know other consoles and putting it on okay i would love a gamecube theme that is just like the black of the gamecube void with like the purple around the borders and it makes the sound of the gamecube sort of and when you go around it goes you know like i want i want something like that right that'd be cool i love those types of things the ps2 theme that was on the ps4 yeah i love that one that's a really good one that was like my d that's like my default when i don't have another theme on the PS2 theme on PS4. I love okay. it. Um, SNES games on the, ver- the on the Switch Online. I do think we're we are running out of NES games. Um, whether we're gonna get them, I could see us starting to get a few. Um, that would make with... that service way more enticing. Yeah. I mean, I've I've been playing quite a number of those NES games. They're really cool. There's some hidden gems on there. It's like, it's good to go through. But with NES, SNES games, that would... That, then that would be, yeah. But I could also see them, that would require almost maybe them turning up the price on Nintendo Online. I'd be okay with that, honestly. Those games are... are Classics. They're classics, but they're big. They're big, yeah. They're big games. They're, they're, now you're getting into the actual modern games, right? So I would... I could see them starting with some of the more basic ones. Uh, like, like, I don't think we'll get Link to the Past in Mario World right away. No? I think it'll start with, like... F zero a hundred percent, and then like maybe, I don't know, Yoshi's Cookie. <laughs> so we'll see. What else? Anything Mega Man related? Too soon. I, oh well, there was talk about a new Mega Man project, but it was a mobile project that's happening. Mm. So I don't know, but it, I was told it was really cool and very creative. So, maybe another Mega Man collection, because there's some games that aren't on the classic collection that are classic games. So I could see them doing classic collection or Legacy Collection three, with a few of the oddities that weren't on it. Um, maybe even the Game Boy games, because those are separate games entirely. Uh, but other than that, no, I don't think I'll see much for that. You want to see uh, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess ports? Those... What about that Skyward Sword uh, rumor? Yeah, those are all believable. Yeah? I could see that. Yes. Can't wait for that. i played those games so many times, but I can't wait to play it again okay. on the Switch. Okay. Have I you know played you... Skyward Sword more than once? No. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know a single I'm, I'm, I'm talking. Game. I'm talking specifically Twilight Princess. And yeah, like, like those are... Yeah, but I don't know anyone who's played <laughs> Twilight Princess. I'd like to play Skyward it again, Sword more just than a once. refresher. Eh, I think I'm fine. <laughs> I like that game. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, I saw something else I wanted to bring up. Any, what about, like, Banjo? There's been a lot of talk There's, about Banjo coming back. There has been a lot of talk. There's been... I mean, there was new plushes with new designs. Yeah. There's been a lot of... There's f- figures. Figures. There's been a lot of stuff, but... There's people being invited that are tightly woven in with Banjo. I... This... I... This would be not, a Microsoft thing, too. I'm not... Yeah, but I'm not going to get my hopes up. Okay. I'm not one. I could see them, at most, putting the... 
um, Xbox 360 ports of Banjo on Switch. Okay. Because those are, like, HD-ish ports. Like, they're N64 games, but they're rendered with, like, HD quality at least. So it's, like, it looks it looks better. And they fixed uh, the compatibility of some glitches and stuff. So. I, I, I just think Banjo, like, has to be a DLC character for Smash. Like, now with Microsoft being as, all happy, happy. And, like, Sakurai wants it. Yeah. So, like, if, if any time is the best time. Okay, but what if we get Master Chief? Uh, I just he'd be I, like the boring sorry he'd be the most boring character out of the three okay, but, including but, Steve but energy's you think he'd be more boring than Steve I think he would I'm sorry <laughs> Steve can like do so so many crazy things energy sword Sundays <laughs> so gravity cool. hammers but that's like a PlayStation all-star type deal you know just you're just I'm a, sorry. You're just a halo tur, a halo <laughs> hater. And a Minecraft stage could be so cool. God. Like I'm on the Steve train. I do not. I'd be I hyped. I do not <laughs> want Steve. <laughs> but I think it'd be Banjo. I think yeah, it'd be Banjo. Yeah. He's he's a uh, Nintendo icon. What else? What else? What if it's Banjo but he has a Minecraft Banjo skin? <laughs> That'd be cool. I'd like that. <laughs> like Um, yeah, did you want to put Sega here? Sure. Well, I don't have much to say other than Jet Set Radio. Jet no. Jet Set Radio. Jet Set Radio, please. You say no to F Zero. You're saying no to Jet Set Radio. Uh, <laughs> no. Sega wants a new Jet Set Radio. They just can't get it going. Oh, okay. Um, it's unlike Nintendo, who just doesn't care. Um, I could see the. Uh, I could see maybe an announcement of some of the Yakuza games coming to Switch. Yakuza One got a port to Wii U, so but like that failed hard, and they like kind of well, backed off. It, or was well, that another franchise? No, that was another franchise because that came out in Japan and did Gangbusters. It just didn't come out in the West. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, I forgot. Uh, you know, what would make me freak out. What's that? Galaxy Three. What? In, what? In, instead of uh, Odyssey 2. What? Galaxy 3? No. Would freak out. No, I don't want to go back to linear 3D Mario. Let me explore. <laughs> you can explore in Galaxy games. No, you can't. Yeah, I'm going to explore this round planet. Boy, I, like I wonder that. what happens if I keep right... Oh, <laughs> that's it. That's the other side. <laughs> no, no, there's more stuff on the other side. The, there's like, other than Honey Hive Galaxy... Okay, at least port the first two to the Switch. What? No. <laughs> yes. They're perfect on the Wii. There'd be per- like, no, 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 no. <laughs> like you're I, blasting I, through. I just ne- turn the Joy-Con. I never want to go back to Galaxy style. Why? Because I love 3D explorative Mario. I don't like 3D one running down linear hallway Mario. You're not running down a linear hallway in Galaxy, save for the first part of Galaxy One. A lot of Galaxy is here's a round okay. planet. Solve a single puzzle. Go to the next round planet. Solve a single puzzle. There's your star. <laughs> I want a hub area at least, like in lieu of galaxy, uh, not galaxy, but like Super Mario sixty four. That's one thing I thought was missing in Odyssey. I will agree. I I like my hub areas. Yes. Yeah. Um. Yo, if we're gonna go down that train, give me sunshine too. Put sunshine, sunshine on, too on the switch with. Flood controls using flood with HD rumble. Oh. Feel feel it pumping, baby, baby. Feel that the water would be awesome. In there? Yeah, right. That'd be amazing, right? And now imagine how the water would look. That that <laughs> Miiverse guy who's always like nice water. He will die and go to heaven <laughs> thinking about that water. He'll go he'll go to his Facebook page and they'll say what's wrong, Bill. And he's like, I'm thinking about them water. <laughs> them water. Them water. <laughs> them water. Um. Anything for Mario Kart? Mario I, Kart 9? I could see a hint of a new Mario Kart, but at the same time, I feel like they're living up to their thing of we want to support a game throughout its whole life. Has there ever been um, two Mario Karts on a single system? No. No. Well, 8 Deluxe is a port, though. That is true. I could... I mean, well, uh, today, they literally showed a commercial for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on TV while you were looking on your phone. Really? Yeah. Oh. So, like, I think they wouldn't... 
I could see maybe another small DLC. I guess that game update. still is like insane. Like, it's selling, selling huge. Like, Why would they cannibalize it? That's that's right. I guess. Like I could see well, maybe, maybe more DLC. More DLC. I could see. I mean, they but, just added in another Link costume, so not they can... just that was like a good year ago. Yeah. Well, I mean, but still, like, I mean, just as in that was just new content added to the game. Yeah. Right. So then it's pod- So then the flags are in place to add new things. I suppose. I'd like to get some new tracks in 8 Deluxe. Because right? whenever yeah. I go back to them, I'm like, oh, these tracks are why, fun, but why, like, I'd like more. Why make a new Mario Kart when you've kind of perfected the gameplay? Right? Same thing as with Smash. Why make another Smash? And why, when... why make another? Just keep adding. Yeah. It's fine. It's, it's awesome. Right? Yeah. So. Um. Okay. Um. I don't... I don't think there's too much more. I do have to get ready for work tomorrow. <laughs> Okay. So I think we should probably start wrapping this up. Oh, we didn't say our 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 hype for Nintendo. Oh, like easy ten. Ten, done. <laughs> of course, it's the main event. It's the one that everyone cares about. It's the one we're going to be reacting to for sure. Yeah, yeah. Is that ten a.m. Right? I don't know. We'll have to check when we're close to the date. Cool. Okay, that <laughs> so that is it. We will. Uh, We'll see how it goes. Um, it's funny. I was looking on, on our podcast and I saw last year's E3 predictions. I think we are mostly wrong. There was a lot of wrong. <laughs> you were listening to it? No, I didn't listen to it, oh. but I, I just saw it on there. And I'm like, oh, hey, that was, that was you know, a little while ago. But uh, we'll have to see. Have to see how right we are. I'm looking forward to hopefully some surprises. Me too. Uh, you wrote additional Destroy All Humans at the bottom. Is There's there anything... a rumor of this of a remake of Destroy All Humans or a new game. I mean, they have they have like all of them on PS4 already. So, so why don't make another? Why make another? <laughs> I don't feel like that game's humor stands. Oh, they could easily like. Change eh, I don't it. know. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um. Okay. On that mark, any final things to say? Let's see a JoJo game. It's possible. It's possible. Really? CyberConnect is done with Final Fantasy VII. They could easily hop on over and be like, hey, All-Star Battle 2. Or the Battle Royale game. No. That, kind of, that game kind of looks bad. That's going to be arcade only. That game kind of looks bad. Yep. <laughs> All-Star Battle 2. I'll st- I could definitely see that. Oh, dude. Don't. Don't. As the words of uh, Clint Barton says, don't give me hope. Yeah. Okay, (laughs) on that mark then, uh, we will see you all later. Yes. And uh, please uh, keep your eyes on our Twitter page to see our reactions, our discussions, our reactions again. (laughs) Yes, and please hype responsibly. Yes. Don't get too excited. We'll see you all guys next time. Ciao. Bye-bye.